Do you have any tips for people with autism to calm down? In theory, the secret is that um, you pay close attention to how your body is. Yeah. So know what you feel like when you're relaxed and know what you feel like when your body changes as it gets more and more stressful. Mm. And you know, often I've met loads of people on the spectrum who they're just not aware until it's too late and then boom, mm. it's almost too late. It's difficult yeah. to manage it when it's, you're in meltdown. Yes, yeah. it's good to understand how you're feeling. Like I realize now that if I am having a meltdown, my heart will start to race. I'll, um, uh, my fists start to clench. Yeah. And yeah. I, I gotta keep pacing. That yes. I, I like the feeling of my yeah. uh, foot stomping down. So, Rory, essentially, what you have to do is learn what your own signs and symptoms yeah. are of becoming more stressed. And the secret is the sooner you can act, the easier it is to manage a meltdown. So if it's yeah. early signs, it may be that um, going off and just doing five minutes of something you love, reading a book, watching a movie, listening to a song, even just finding a quiet space, know, and yeah. doing some breathing or some yoga, that could mm -hmm. fix it. When it comes to meltdowns, you there's kind of three separate bits that it's good to be aware of. One of which is the physical signs and symptoms that we've been talking about. Yeah. Two is that obviously the behaviors that are associated with that, and three is the thoughts that go on in your head. And I think the best order is one, think about your behavior, go somewhere quiet, that takes any of the risk away. Take yourself away somewhere quiet, where then step two, start to manage some of those physical signs and symptoms, breathing, relaxation, that kind of stuff. And then finally start working on what's going on in your head, whether that's just thinking of something really nice or you know, Thomas will yeah. talk about sometimes just re learning how to let something go. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't fix this problem, mm -hmm. I've just got to let it yeah. go. Rory, if you're in a moment and you've got something going on in your head and it's, you, you can't stop thinking about it, what you have to learn to do is somehow let that go. Yeah. And I think, you know, what I wanted to tell you about managing meltdowns, this is a skill. Like learning to be a professional footballer, learning to drive, it takes time and it mm -hmm. takes practice to get this done well. So don't imagine you can do it immediately. But just set yourself a plan and do it again and do it again and do it again and you will get good at this at some point. Yeah. And just if you think you suck at something, just remember this. Sucking at something is the first stage at getting kind of good at something. And then from there, pretty good at something and then really good at something. Yeah.